There's a rock in front of us. Go left, go left, go left. Cross. I was a kayaker before I was a canoeist. And when I was first dragged out in those rivers, I couldn't understand why people were missing rocks and I was constantly hitting those pesky ones that were just below the surface. I didn't know how to spot them and this right. video is going to cover that. Nah, that's fine. <laughs> the big rocks are obvious, it's just a case of threading your way between them. But it's the smaller ones, the ones just below or just on the surface, that cause the problem. A patch of slow water is an indicator that there's an obstruction upstream of it. The rock causing the eddy is hardly visible from this viewpoint, but it's just below the arrow. And sometimes, not always, and sometimes it can be big, you get this curious little curling wave just at the crest of the rock. There we are, we can see the rock itself. So is this a rock? Well, there are a whole series of telltales. First, there is the small wave which gets your attention. Then behind the wave is an area of much slower water. That's a really good indicator there's an obstruction. And finally, the eddy that's created or the slower water created creates an upstream pointing V, the classic sign that there is an obstruction. And just out of interest, below and on the left is a wave, beyond it slower water, and that's created by a ledge protruding out into the river. With this aerial view we can see it quite clearly. The upstream pointing V is pointing us at the rock indicated by the red arrow. Here on the big salmon, on one of the wider sections, the white wave is what first gets the attention. Beyond it is a patch of slower water, the eddy. Um, and that is, again, the indicator that there's the rock, which is in the position of the green arrow. Sorry? No, that's fine. Is it an upstream pointing V? Well, it's quite squeezed. But the real clue is the patch <laughs> of slower water. Here on the Avon Dovedwy in Wales, we've got a, a wave there ahead of us. Is it an obstruction? Yes, there's the rock. But the clue was the slow water beyond the wave. Another eddy with a rock upstream of it. There's the eddy, the slow patch, and that's far more visible than the rock itself until you pass it. So do waves indicate rocks? Well, not at all. It really depends on whether the water is slowing. If the water is slowing, there is an obstruction, generally a rock or a ledge. If it's just bouncy waves like this and the water doesn't slow, this is a wave train. And it's, as long as it's not too big, it's just good fun. So we can even use these micro eddies behind the rocks to maneuver across the river. Saves a lot of energy and quite elegant in itself. Here we go, changing the angle. I've spotted the, the obstruction, the eddy. Now drive the nose in, lean to the right, because it's an eddy turn, cross the little eddy, lean to the left. And I've made a lot of progress across the river for little effort. Here I'm going to do it on a much faster example. There we go. Quick whip round, hit the new. So I lean to the right, then the left. Could have done with moving my knee across, but I was feeling stiff and cramped and off down the river. So I hope this little video helps you avoid some of those rocks. 
Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please comment or press the like button and of course you can subscribe. My own book, Canoeing, is available directly from myself or from Amazon and other retailers. You can support the channel, if you'd like, by going to buymeacoffee.com. The link is also in the description below this video. Thank you very much indeed.